Hello everyone, and welcome to Cassette Beasts. Uh, this cozy little game is uh, a little bit like Pokemon, but a little bit not. Um, I have a hard time describing that, but you'll see in a minute here. Um, that was me, uh, that's, that's me right here, I'm this little pixel man. Uh, with me is my companion Eugene. And uh, we can roam around this area. I'm about, uh, I'm a little ways into the game here. Um, there's a spooky guy up there, but we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, initiate combat with this fine young woman. Um, there is some cult activity going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, instead of, uh, deploying beasts from, uh, little Pokeballs, uh, we instead transform into the beasts, um, by using a cassette tape. Um, makes a little bit more sense once you, uh, um, kind of get into it and boot up the story a little bit, but, uh, that's pretty much all we need to know. Um, I get two companions here. Sometimes I, um, sometimes I get to fight two people at the same time. Um, this person just happens to be, uh, a single battle. Um, I have transformed into Apocrolips, uh, on the right, and, uh, my buddy Eugene is, um, the other one? I can't remember what this guy is. I can't remember his name. Well, we'll see it in a bit here. Or maybe we won't, because it'll just say Eugene. Uh, so you saw there, uh, we actually got an attack on the person. Um, if we reduce the person's HP to zero, um, they just get knocked out and the battle ends. Uh, which is kind of cool, in my opinion. Because um, it's sort of like, if you can stack your damage in between phases, um, you can just completely skip part of the battle. Kittily. <laughs> Kittelly. Because it's a television. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Yay! Clocksley. That's what it is. Uh, so, all of our monsters in our party get, um, get some experience. Um, we are dealing with an evil cult. There's a lot of weird things going on uh, on this little uh, this land. Um, but we're gonna go right here. Um, and we're fighting, um, these... It's this... It's Eugene's special subplot. Um, we are fighting what I believed to be... Oh, crap. Did I screw this up? I have to go all the way up. Uh, what he kind of makes you believe are vampires, but then it turns out that they are actually just, like, oh, uh, like, real estate moguls. Um, and they make a lot of silly jokes about them basically being the same thing, which is really funny. Um, but yeah, this is, like, it's a little bit like Pokemon, but, uh, I would say cozier. Um, feels more, um, oh, we're gonna fight this guy, I guess. Uh, it feels more intentionally, um, lived in. Um, I'm gonna try and call for help, uh, which has a 50% chance to summon a temporary ally. Um, we'll see if that works. And, uh, we'll smack the All-Seer. Uh, I think my one complaint about the game, oh, that didn't work, is that, um, there's a lot of interactions between the types that are very difficult to remember. So our, our acro, acropo, apocrolips, there we go, oh my goodness, went down. So next we're going to use uh, Palangolin. Um, so we get uh, two, um, I don't know, action points. Um, they're kind of the currency that we, um, we get, uh, moves with. So, like, the more powerful moves, um, 
require a, like you have to kind of stack it at the end of like kind of more into the battle you can't just end it right away by using your most powerful move um, so let's use copper chop and then use toy hammer to use some of our big boy moves copper chop oh so close all right let's finish him off with some smacks And uh, there's a lot of like resources and crafting and currencies um, that we can use to buy different things. There we go. Oh, <laughs> excuse us for dropping in. Such short-sightedness you young people possess. Can't you appreciate the investment opportunities we could open up for you? <laughs> They're called land keepers, and they are, uh, on average, uh, kind of spooky and vampire-like. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of, um, weird interactions between the types that it's, that's really hard to keep track of. Like, I think if you hit a plastic type with a fire move, it turns into toxic. Which is, like, just incredibly convoluted. But honestly, uh, I've gotten pretty far without really uh, memorizing all of that. Because um, it's not just, like, a straight, like, like Pokemon where it's super effective or not very effective. Like, pretty much everything does the same amount of damage regardless. Eugene is uh, in a little bit of trouble. Oh, and he goes down. So Cloxley is his kind of signature um, monster. Um, whereas mine is Wultergeist. Um, but I'm going to give him Spitzfire, which is a uh, fire puppy. Uh, let's try and burn uh, this Snoopin down. Because, I mean, once we get him... Or her, excuse me. Um, once we get one of them down, uh, then we pretty much just... It's a two-on-one, right? Uh, and that's kind of my strategy in Pokemon battles as well. When it's two-on-two. -two. Copper Chop! In flame! Hopskin, huh? In flame. We have a much wider move set to uh, to play with as well. Oh my gosh, he gets two attacks. Uh, let's do quick smack and uh, zoomies so that we can finish this guy off before he can hit us back. Victory! Awesome. All right, nice work. Maybe these parasites will start to realize who they're messing with. Hey, Eugene, you okay? You okay, man? No? You're just gonna cower in a corner? Oh my gosh, I found some loot. I didn't expect that. I was just kind of mashing the button. See if there was anything hidden. All right, uh, so now let's kind of make our way back to... Uh, our home village, Harbor Town, it's called, and uh, we can heal up, and uh, then we can head out and do something else. Um, like I said before, this game seems a little bit more lived in than Pokemon, where it's like you can just kind of exist, you can be cozy, you can just go out here and battle creatures and come back and like upgrade stuff and do little quests, which I think is really fun. Uh, there's like campsites out in the, the wild, which is where we started. Um, and those are kind of cool because it's uh, like they're little rest points where you can heal up so you don't have to go like all the way back to town. So all in all, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, I 
founded on uh, uh, Game Pass, and it's been it's been a little bit of fun. It's been uh, a fun little cozy little battle sim. So this is where I washed up on shore uh, and first learned that I could transform into monsters. I actually built this sign uh, and chose the um, the emblem. And this is our home. Uh, the Gramophone Cafe. Uh, and uh, this acts as like a little break, like a full rest, a free rest area. Hmm. I need to get back to my work workout routine soon. I can't save the world if I'm not at the top of my game, you know. Maybe one day some dumbbells will wash up on the beach. That is a funny thing about this game. Uh, is that... Um, everyone who is here came here from somewhere else, uh, which is <laughs> kind of goofy. Right. All right, I'm gonna take Kaylee with me. Um, she is. Oops, I don't need to con connect to the internet. No. Um, Kaylee is uh, a proper Irish lass, and she's just kind of fun. Oh, there's achievements, I see, like little challenges. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna move forward with the main story a little bit, and uh, I think we've unlocked a little uh, new area. So let's go check that out. Okay, so I lied a little bit. We're not gonna go to a new area. Um, we're looking for someone called Meredith, which it looks like they're up there. Um... Okay, so we can't we can't climb that far. We need to get up there. And then go around. Or I have another idea. Can I just get up here with a box? Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, the new boy. Have we met? Hoy Lake was blabbing on about you when he came by to pick up some parts for my shop. Have you met him? He's the worst. <laughs> Did you know he's not even a real scientist? Before he landed on New Wirral, he was a data analyst. Someone needs to tell him that only wearing t-shirts that say, I love science, is not a personality. Wow, that feels targeted at some people. I'm Meredith. Enjoy being trapped on this rock forever with the rest of us until you die. It doesn't seem so bad. There's like, what, a couple hundred people here, max? You run out of things to talk about pretty quick, trust me. Anyway, I just needed a breath of fresh air. Come meet me at my shop in town sometime. Yellow building on the boardwalk. Okay, uh... I'm also going to activate this quest about strange magnetic powers. We can investigate that, because I think that is a new area. I just wanted to uh, find Meredith along the way. Uh, you can see I've been through here. <laughs> there are uh, some people who... That was spooky! Did you guys see that? There was a person there, and then they disappeared. No, 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 no. I need to go up, or I can fight these snakes. Kaylee has this very sonically uh, themed character. I can't remember what their name is either. Um, let's do a spit first. Rack up some more points to use our powerful moves. Ooh, nice. Sonic Boom! Nice. Decibel. That's right. That's a really good name. <laughs> I need to get up. Up, up, up. Um. Man, you know, it just, it feels like we're going in circles. Um. I forgot I could, I could dash for a short time. Okay. 
New Wirral Park. We need to get up this giant cliffside somehow. Oh, hello. <laughs> My favorite bands are the Y, Schrodinger's Martyr, and Flesh Cage. Get ready for some heavy metal! Oh, oh, he's a rocker. <laughs> Alright, let's again use our, our crappy attacks. Save up for some of our big attacks. So yeah, that was one of those interactions, I think, because he's like a metal type, and I hit him with a poison move, now his attacks deal poison damage, which, again, I'm not positive, but I think that's how it works. I'm not ranking on the game, I, I swear. I, It is very cozy, and I like all the artwork and the monsters. Uh, it's just that the that one aspect of it, I have no idea... Nope, I didn't want to call for help. Uh, I have no idea what to make of it. All right, do you have more? You don't. Okay. All right, so we got some pulp, which I think is money. Dude, you really kicked my base. <laughs> um. Okay, we could use something to... We could use, like, another crate or something to set down. Um, do we have any any such thing? Honestly, it doesn't look like it. Get away from me, Snake. So, I think that's gonna be... how we get up there, but... Let's, uh... Is this lava? My goodness. Is that a phone booth? Oh, I'm so sorry, Kaylee. Uh... This Rogue Fusion, sure! Let's do it! Gramp Fire. Oh my gosh, he's ice fire. Who even knew such a thing existed? Uh, he's level 24. I think we'll be okay. Let's take out the car. Uh, this. Uh, Carna Viper, first. Snow Rush. Oh boy. Spit. Oh, missed both of them. Alright, now we can start doing some sonic booms, which uh, hits everyone on the opposing side. Carnaviper is gone. Ooh, that hurt. I think uh, Apocrolypse is now on fire. Um, do we have... we do have enough for Pustule Bomb. Let's do Sonic Boom again. That was a crit, and it didn't do a whole lot. Sonic Boom! Okay. Uh, let's do another round of... Well, you can do a round of spits. Um, yeah, let's do spits. Blech. Elemental wall, it's making an ice wall. All right. Um, let's do pustule bomb again and sonic boom. I don't think we're getting past that ice wall. I forgot how to, uh, can we target that? Or does it just, I think once it takes a certain amount of hits, it just goes away. All right, we're low health. Nope, not air wall. Sonic boom! We're almost there. Oh, it unfused. It's a Grampus. Um, okay, let's... Let's just keep keep up the pressure. I kind of want to 
catch the Grampus, or it's called recording, I believe. Um, but we're not really in a good position to do that. So let's just keep up the pressure. Um, let's bring out Palangolin again. Um, quick smack on Spitfire, and a Spit as well. Let's get rid of him. See if we can catch a Grampus. No rush. There goes uh, Decibel. I don't know uh, if we can catch it now, but I kind of want to try. I forgot how everything re works. High, high efficiency rate when used to record ice type monsters. Let's do it. Now, uh, instead of trying to... Um, uh, not hurt it or get it down as close as possible uh, before you initiate the recording sequence. You actually want to do as much damage as you can to it while it's being recorded. So we have a 61% chance now. Uh, I don't know what happens now. Uh, it went way down. It got poisoned, which brings up our chance. We damaged it. Oh, the chance keeps going down. Oh my god, it worked. We caught ourselves a Grampus. <laughs> that is so awesome. With a, like a 20-something percent chance. Grampus with foot in storage. Victory! We beat a Shadow Monster. Look at us. All right, cool beans. Oh, I did not expect that. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll hang out here, and uh, I think next time we will try and get up this cliff uh, to the new area. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.